When choosing a mutual fund, most people look at returns. Some experienced investors may look at some other parameters. This could be rolling returns, volatility, etc. But there is one thing that no one looks at. It's the number of stocks in a fund's portfolio. Now, if you go by bookish knowledge, having too many stocks can impact your fund's returns. So theoretically, one must avoid over diversified funds as there is a chance that such funds may underperform. But does this happen in the real world? Well, that's what we'll try answering in this video. Hello and welcome to ET Money's YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about the relationship between the number of stocks in a fund's portfolio and its outperformance. In other words, do funds with a certain number of stocks do better than others that don't have that number? Now, it's very easy to see the number of stocks in a fund's portfolio. You can see that on ET Money or you can look at the monthly fact sheets of the mutual funds. As always, in this video, we will discuss our comprehensive study that offers some incredible insights that you can use to pick funds. So let's start. Before we go into details, let's briefly talk about how we've done this analysis. I won't bore you by giving you too much technical details here. If you are interested to know the methodology in detail, we have mentioned it in our video's description. So let me just share four critical points quickly. We analyzed four fund categories, large cap, mid cap, small cap and flexi cap. We then looked at the number of stocks in the portfolio and the performance of these funds for the past six years. We placed these funds in four buckets. The first bucket is of funds with 50 stocks or less. Then schemes that have between 51 and 75 stocks. The third bucket is with funds with 76 to 100 stocks. Finally, the last bucket is with schemes with over 100 stocks. We have also compared the funds returns with the relevant benchmarks to give you a clear picture. Okay, so now let's talk about what we found. First, we looked at large cap funds. The funds with up to 50 stocks did better than those with 50 to 75 stocks. The schemes with up to 50 stocks had an average rolling returns of 13.51%, whereas those with more than 50 stocks had 13.05%. So the difference was just about half a percentage, which isn't massive. There were no schemes that had more than 75 stocks and therefore there was nothing there. Now, while doing analysis, we found something very interesting. While funds with less than 50 stocks did well, they did worse than the Nifty 50. The index had 14% returns. Now, next we wanted to know whether other categories will show the same trend. Do schemes with up to 50 stocks outperform others? So we looked at mid cap funds next. Surprisingly, we got the similar result. Funds that had up to 50 stocks did the best here. Their three year average rolling returns was 17.39%. The next bucket was that of funds with 50 to 75 stocks. And this is where the majority of mid cap funds fell. However, the funds in this bucket have delivered 16.69% return. The funds that had 75 to 100 stocks couldn't even beat the nifty mid cap 150 on average. And there were no funds with more than 100 stocks. Okay, so far we have covered two categories. Both show that the funds with up to 50 stocks in their portfolios are performed. We will check the trend in two more mutual fund categories. Let's now assess the small cap picture. Here too, funds that had up to 50 stocks have done best with average three-year rolling returns of 26.14%. The performance went down as the number of stocks started to go up in the portfolio. There were just two funds that had 75 to 100 stocks in their portfolio. Only one fund, Nippon India Small Cap Fund, has more than 100 stocks. But funds in all the buckets outdid the Nifty Small Cap 250 TRI. All right, now let's move to the final category. Let's see how FlexiCap funds fared across the buckets. Even here, funds that had up to 50 stocks did better. They delivered 15.87% returns on average, while funds with 50 to 75 stocks managed to deliver 14.69%. And both these buckets outperformed the Nifty 500 on average. In this category, just like large cap, there were no funds that had more than 75 stocks. So these were the four categories that we looked at. If you look at all this analysis altogether, an interesting picture clearly emerges. First, funds with up to 50 stocks do better than funds with more stocks. Second, as the number of stocks go up in the portfolio, the performance goes down. But why does that happen? 
and more importantly should you deliberately pick funds that have up to 50 stocks and avoid the ones that have more than this number first what could be the possible reason for funds with up to 50 stocks doing better than ones that have more than that number while the answer would be fund specific and no generalizations can be made it is likely that diversification beyond a point tends to affect performance that's because the more the number of stocks in the portfolio the more difficult it becomes for a majority of them to do well so does that mean that you should consciously pick funds that have up to 50 stocks in their portfolio from this analysis it does appear to be the case but at the aggregate level use this parameter in addition to other things that you look at while picking a fund investors must have a framework to pick funds you should never pick funds only based on one parameter but before we end the video we would also like to point out two things you will find that there are exceptions and outliers there are a few funds that have done well despite a higher number of stocks in their portfolio nippon india small cap fund is one such example by the end of October this year, the fund had over 190 stocks, yet it was the best performing small cap scheme. The same goes for SDFC large and mid cap fund, which holds around 170 stocks in its portfolio. Second, don't start worrying if your fund starts to increase the number of stocks in its portfolio. When a fund becomes popular and its AM starts growing, the fund manager increases the stocks in the portfolio. Adding more stocks as the fund becomes larger is a normal thing. All schemes go through this. In such cases, you have to watch the fund's performance for the next two years. And with this, we have come to this end of this video. I really hope you found this analysis useful. And if you did, don't forget to like and share and comment. And I'll be back soon with another insightful video. Till then, take care. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.